Well, today, my friends, we are going to be looking at a new little inexpensive mic, and this could be a really great mic for those of us looking for a budget-friendly way of improving our audio quality, depending on if we're shooting in a scenario like I'm shooting here, studio-based, or especially for those of you that are looking at possibly doing more vlogging style videos where audio plays a big role. We don't necessarily have the camera very far from us, so mic distance is probably in and around arm's reach. This is probably a good mic for that, and again on a budget. So this mic actually comes from a company called Feel World. Feel World. Feel World? Feel World. And it's the FM8. And we're going to take a look at what's in the box and do a quick sound test to see what we think. Coming up. All right, so Feel World is a company that a lot of us may have heard if we have been looking at a little more budget friendly field monitor. And actually, that's where I kind of came across the Feel World FM8 right here because I was actually looking at their field monitors. I was looking at a monitor for this camera. I wanted a monitor that I could place kind of in line with the lens so that even if I ended up looking at the monitor, it was directly above the lens versus off to the side of the lens, which I thought would be better for you, a little less distracting. Also, on a side note, I just bought a Ronin SC gimbal and thank you. That's right. I bought it because it was a good price. 249 US. That's really good. Some of the features that I was looking at, I think a field monitor will become really useful for. So again, I ended up wanting something a little more budget friendly. I didn't want to get much bigger than five inch because of weight. It kind of fit my budget and everything was bang on for what I think I need. We'll get a review of that. Soon, soon. Anyways, because of that, I saw this and I was like, yeah, that could be decent, I think, possibly. So here's their Amazon website, Amazon page. Feel World FM8 Universal Compact Shotgun Video Mic sh with shock mount. Comes with, I guess, a windscreen. Perfect for those of us that have or are looking for a budget way to kind of get better audio on our smartphones, our GoPros, our mirrorless DSLR cameras, whatever it is. What comes in the box here? Well, let's take a look. First off, this is the front. Shows you a nice little shot of it. I love that a lot of the companies are doing that black red. It's a nice little add-on, especially for those of us that are using Canon cameras with the red ring. So a nice compliment, I think. On the side here, integrated shock mount, no battery required. That's always a plus. Improved audio quality, reduced wind and noise, lightweight. All kinds of things that are really important, especially for vloggers. What we don't want is big, heavy gear because if we're carrying this all the time, that's going to be an issue. On the back, we do have a whole bunch of specs in regards to polar pattern and frequency response. If you guys want to see that or zoom in, have at her, pause the video, you can take a look. Or you can just go to the Amazon listing and I'm sure it's going to be over there. In the box. Let's see. All right. So this is the box. Kind of comes in a plasticky, plastic in plastic, I guess. And you do get a compact on-camera microphone manual. Love the fact that it's got really nice size fonts, shows what's in the box, features, and on this side, how to use it. What more do you want? That seems uh, pretty simple. So I appreciate the fact that they didn't make this like one or two pages and be like, let's just make the fonts so small, nobody can actually read it, which a lot of companies do. So in this little package, I'm just going to pull this down. We do get... A nice little wind muff. Now this is going to be great for when we go outside. It is a little nicer than some of the little mini microphones that I've seen because a lot of the other ones are really quite floppy. This one actually is stiff and you can, if you, feels weird, but if you feel inside here, it's kind of got almost like a pipe cleaner type feel where it's going to grip onto the microphone and that's gonna sit there really nice. That's one of the things I find with some of the less expensive microphones. They're like, here's a wind muff, which is great. We all want that for outside, but it's really floppy and I find that it, it actually flops down sometimes and depending on how wide your lens is, that can actually creep into the shot. You end up getting this little 
furry pieces in the top of your frame. The other parts, of course, we are gonna get two cables. And now this is really important to realize these two cables are not created equal. It's really important for us to see this one has a camera, this one has a smartphone on it. It is TRS versus TRRS. And what happens is TRS is going to be for your camera, computer, things like that. TRRS, which is this one, is going to be going into a smartphone. And realize that this one here, the camera one, can pretty much go in either way. Doesn't really matter which way it goes in. But this one here, it is important because it's a TRS on one side and a TRRS on the other. So the side with the little smartphone label on it, keep those on, don't tear them off because that's a little signal that says this guy right here, you need to put that inside your, your phone. That goes into the phone. Now, for those of you that are iPhone shooters, of course, anything current, you will need the little lightning to headphone adapter. So if you have one, you're good to go. If you don't have one, you're gonna have to go get one. Get the official one, get the official one from Apple. It's like 10 bucks and looking on Amazon, they're 10, $15 for a knockoff. So might as well get the official one. Now you also get the camera. So this is kind of important. So what's kind of cool about this is here it is in all its glory. Seems like it'll do its job nicely. This foam should pull off and you can put the wind muff on there if you want. Indoors, we would just use this one. Outdoors, we would use this one. But it actually comes with a spare. That's fantastic. So if for whatever reason, you break this little shock mount, you got another one. And they actually throw in a little, little Allen key. So you can actually undo this, replace it, do some fixing, if that happens. Well done. That's, that's a little add-on that they didn't need to give you, but they did. I appreciate that. I really do. I think that's fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to take my little Canon M50 right here. So this is my M50 because it's a great little vlogging camera. And that's, again, what the primary use for a microphone like this is going to be. Vlogging. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put a memory card in there. Done. I'm going to clean that lens because it's a little on the on the smudgy side. And what we're going to do now is we are going to take this and we're going to make sure we take the right one. So we're going to take the one here that says camera on it, the little camera icon. One side, going to go into the microphone. Make sure you give it a good click. This, of course, is going to go up on the camera. So for me, because I have a cage on here, I could put it on the top or I could put it off to the side. doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's got a nice... For a, for an inexpensive mic, this is coming in at like thirty dollars US, which is which is fantastic. It's got a nice feel. It doesn't feel cheap at all. This is going to go in here. We're we're ready to rock and roll. First off, we're going to unplug this, and I'm going to turn this on. Flip out my little lens here so I can see it. Make sure that's good and wide. It's about as wide as it's getting. And I'm going to put this put this at arm's reach just so you guys can see it. I'm going to hit the record button here. Okay, so we are now shooting with the Canon M50 over here you guys can see it and we're using just the internal mic this is at arm's reach indoors so you get an idea of what the camera would sound like and it's not far by itself so i'm going to stop this now and now what we're going to do is we're going to take this we're going to plug it in because this is important for us to realize if it makes a difference i hope it does it should all right, same idea. Ready? We're gonna hit the record button. Popping it way out there. I'm getting some crazy little lens flare, light flare coming off there. Doesn't matter. Anyways, now we're using the new Feel World. What is that, FM8, I believe it is? Yeah, FM8. And my hope is this should sound a lot better. So again, we're at arm's length, inside, kind of studio environment. You are probably gonna be getting maybe some room echo because this room isn't soundproofed perfectly but hopefully this gives you a better idea of what this sounds like and we're going to stop that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this off we're going to take this guy off and put this guy on so we're going to move these cables over here make sure you guys can see this okay and the foam me should just pull off so that's super simple just comes off like that and this same idea Oh yeah, you can kind of feel it just kind of grip, just kind of go Now, if you want to, you can pop this right off if you feel like getting it here and just kind of giving it a good pull because you want to make sure you get it all the way on. 
There we go. That's better. Get it down there over its ridges. And you can see, you can kind of see when it's all the way on, it kind of snugs itself right up to the edge. Perfect. And then what we're gonna do, make sure you can see that last little area there. Pop that down and we're good to go. Now, it is kind of important to watch your lens. If you have a lens that's way back here for whatever reason, you know, it's very shallow and very wide, make sure you watch to see if it's going to creep into your shot. This should have no problems because we're pretty much parallel to each other. And because we're parallel, this lens isn't near wide enough to catch this. So we're going to go outside. I'm going to do just a walk down the street and we'll see what the sound is like. Should be good. All right, guys, so we're outside. We have the Canon M50 with the just the internal mic. So a little bit of wind out here. Not a lot, but a little bit. You guys can probably hear it. You can probably get that little wind ruffle that kind of happens is my guess. Again, it's not crazy windy, but windy enough. My guess is windy enough. So what we're going to do is, again, we're going to switch over now to the new mic and test that out. All right, so we got the actual wind muff plugged in right now. And same wind, we're actually gonna go onto the road. So we probably will get more wind actually here. So you guys should be able to tell again if this is better or worse. My guess would be it's gonna be a huge improvement because usually the wind is just a killer for an internal mic system. It just has that sound all the time. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time out here. I just wanted to go quick walk up and down the street. Just enough for you guys to tell. You know, I got the camera on a little kind of, almost like a Gorillapod style tripod, just so I can get it out a little further. And you guys will be able to get an idea of actually what the sound is like. So we can test it and we'll go inside and take a listen. My hope is that this is gonna be considerably better than just the internal mic all by itself. All right, in we go. All right, my friends, so we're back in the house now. You guys have now had a chance to listen to the sound from outside and inside, native sound from the camera, and of course, sound with the standard foam on it and the wind muff. Do you think it's worth 30 bucks? Is it worth it to have your sound improved for $30? I always think an external mic, for those of us that are doing video, especially where voice is so important, it's probably the first thing you and I should buy as an accessory. This is getting right now four and a half stars. That's a great review. There's nothing wrong with four and a half stars. It doesn't have a lot, only about 13 right now, but it is also fairly new. Yeah, I think that's, that's all right. That's all right. Currently, I think it's only available right now on Amazon.com, so I will put links to that. If you are looking for it on any of the other Amazons, especially for those of you that are watching from Canada where we are located, if and when it does show up on Amazon.ca, we will be sure to put a link down there as soon as it happens. Or if you guys see that show up, let us know, and we'll make sure to uh, put it in our description. All right, my friends, I'm gonna leave you there. This is the Field World, Field World, FM8 mini shotgun mic. Very cool. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, my friends.